Yeah, so I mean, you know, disappointing performances, no doubt. I mean, everyone recognises that that's not, um, you know, how we want the Wallaby jersey to be perceived or the, you know, the team performances. And no one's more disappointed than the players and the coaching staff themselves. Um, certainly from our perspective, you know, we, our supporters behind the board and myself as supports behind Michael and uh, Chica. And, and as we move into the World Cup, we go into two test matches against South Africa and Argentina. And that's a really great opportunity for us to see the Wallabies in a winning environment environment and actually put some good performances together um, and, and recognise that you know they're a team that can perform um, consistently and, and win some footy games. No, I mean it's you know he, he's contracted through to to World Cup. He's got a plan. We're across that plan. We're comfortable with it. Um, but clearly, you can't just ignore the performances. They're not acceptable. So it's about what can we do to support him as an organisation to make sure he's got what he needs to make sure the Wallabies are successful as we as we lead into that World Cup. I don't think it's about changing what we've got, I think it's about what can we bring. We've got a wide rugby community um, rugby community that's um, had a significant success on the world stage. Where what can we use in those experts that are proud Australians that want to help the Wallabies to make sure that we can continue to be successful.